Hi and welcome to another episode of Andy Robinson RC. Now on today's episode we are going to be looking at these two beauties mainly. We've got here a Tamiya Striker which is in really good original condition and we have this Tamiya Frog and uh, this one is a re-release frog though and it is much better than the last frog uh, that I had, which you'll remember if you saw our uh, video a few episodes back. If not, I'll put the link in the description. But yes, this one is in much better condition. Also, I'm going to give you a couple of little updates on the Cobra that I said I was in no rush to build. And finally finished off my Tamiya Blackfoot Riri. Anyway, we're going to crack on first with these two cars. Now, I uh, starting with the Striker, I really love the Tamiya Striker and the Sonic Fighter. However, I do believe that uh, this is the more favourable looking out for two. Um, the only thing I wished it had the Sonic Fighter does is the Sonic Fighter came with oil shocks and this one didn't. And I prefer this to have oil shocks. Uh, and also as well, uh, in anticipation for picking one of these up, I do have the Sonic Fighter front shock tower, so I am very tempted to put that on and put some oil shocks all around. But besides that, uh, this is in super condition, this. Uh, it wasn't cheap either, but I think considering what, uh, how hard a really good one is to get these days, I, I think it was probably the right sort of money. Now, this one was £120, which is it's still uh, a lot of money considering that it's one of Tamiya's low-end buggies. And, and it's not that much more advanced than a, a grasshopper, really. But um, considering they weren't popular at the time and less of these were made and the structural weaknesses of the chassis, um, you're getting one that survived is quite tough these days and this one looks to have been had an easier life so um okay so we've got the cockpit there as you can see uh it's not been painted at all so uh, that's going to get painted up at some point but other than that all nice condition and yep yeah, so very pleased with that And then if I tip the car up, there is a bit of discolouring to the white plastic, which you'd expect over time. As you can see there. Now, funny enough, I actually quite like the uh, discoloured plastic, bizarrely. Uh, it does look good if you spray it up in the, the box art white or whatever colour you decide to go for. But the something about it as well, I think, it's almost like patina on a, a real classic car. I actually quite like the yellowing plastic, providing if the car's in good nick. Shows its its age a bit. Uh, I actually quite like that. So, I probably won't spray this, but what I will probably do is, is look for some MCI decals, and I'll do uh, re some, uh, redo the decals on this. Um, I'm just wondering though, though this car hasn't been used, if the decals were lost at some point, and you had MCI ones put on. Now, the reason I say that is the striker decal on the back, although it's not been put on very well, it, it doesn't look the same sort of quality as the Tamiya ones. Now, I could be wrong. Um, you can see that from there. But I, I'm not sure. I could be wrong, as I said. But I think I will probably get some uh, fresh decals and replace a couple. The number six... The front of body on here is not great. The dash on the cockpit is not central, so that's just annoys me. So that'll be coming off. So odd things like that, and of course a new striker sticker for the wing. But besides that, you can see, you know, the tyres, you know, um, are nice and soft. You know, I mean now, I mean there's a chance it's a re-re tyre, but I, I just don't think it is. You know, I think this is as original as it should be. You know, and certainly that was the impression I got from the seller, that this was a, an original car. I mean, if you look at it underneath, 
Yeah, it's it's clearly not been run. Now it's a shame it didn't come with its original manual and box. Now the only other thing this is because uh, obviously there's no reread for this. It's been built out of parts over the years. Now that's an option uh, rather than it bought, being bought as a kit with a box and everything. Not that it makes much difference, um, but it would explain the fact that it does have the wrong 540 cam motor in it. That is a much later uh, 540 cam, as you can tell by the sticker on it there. Now, I imagine this would have had a black end or white end bell 540 originally. Uh, I can't tell off the top, uh, don't remember off the top of my head without looking at one of the Tamiya catalogues. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favourite cars. It's uh, it looks like an F1 car and it's a buggy, so it's uh, two of my favourite things mixed together there. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting this running. I will get it running and it will be driven, but only very lightly. I did have a Sonic Fighter maybe half a year back, and I actually did race that in a vintage class at our um, Blackpool Club, and uh, it was quite fun to drive, but it still was so fragile. Um, and I did actually trash the chassis on it and had to get a, a second hand one. So I don't think I'll do the same thing with this. I won't race this, <laughs> um, but I will get it running and drive it around, which is cool. And it'll be having, you know, modern uh, electronic speed controller in it as well. So, yeah, that's my uh, rather cool Tamiya Striker. Very pleased with that. That is one ticked off the list. And as I say, I've had a couple of these in the past, and stupidly, I've got rid of them every time um, for various different reasons. So I've got to make sure I keep hold of this one. Okay, so um, I'm going to do a bit of a shuffle around. So I'll move this one over. Okay. Now, the other one I got recently. Now, this I'm still up in arms about what I'm going to do with this one. Now, if I choose to keep this, Something in the collection that we've got already will have to go. As I say, I am limited to 20 cars. So if something comes in and I'm up to my limit of 20 cars, something else has to go out. So I don't know yet. I don't know what's going on. But I picked up this nice re re frog um, for what I thought was a good price. I'll tell you what I paid for it. I paid £100 for, for this one. Uh, the only thing it didn't come with was a handset. Came with its box, uh, a couple of the plastic sprues in there, no manual, but um, yeah, came with box and the buggy, all the radio gear but apart from the handset. And again, this is looks to me it's either been run once or twice or it's as new. Um, yep, yeah, it's the underneath of it there, which you can see. I don't think there's. Now, I tell you, it must have been used once, so there's a, a couple of light scuffs on the metal servo protector plate there, and one on the gearbox housing. But other than that, that is, it's as new. It's lovely. And I quite like the shell as well. The uh, Well, I like the shell, but I quite like the colour scheme on it. It's like a nice orange fading off into a white towards the rear. Now, I do think who the chap who owned this before me, he's painted it up. And I like the paint, it's cool. But I'm not sure what paint he has used on it because around the rear, and I'm trying to get it off now to show you, around the rear body mount, it's a bit tight, but unfortunately, as you can see, I'll hold that up to you, you can see there's some cracking of the paint around the body mount. So I don't know what paints have been used on it. I'm not sure if there's like Lexan paints or what, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it's a bit of paint chipping around the around the body mount and just a lit on the edge at the back of the shell. So, I mean, you know, if you, if you do keep this and run it, it's all right for a running shell. I think it still looks very cool, um, you know. But uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll see uh, what I'm gonna do with this. Plans are not uh, not made yet. Um, it still might end up being one that I pass on, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so regarding the paint, uh, I, I think it must have been some automotive paint maybe, because. Every time I take the shell off, there's bits of paint <laughs> flaking on it. But uh, other than that, there you go. I know you've all probably seen a frog before, but it's a nice looking thing. It's just got the standard, uh, what is it? I got it, TBL 02S uh, speed control in there, 2.4 gig receiver, and it looks like it, yeah, Tara Pro MG 
996 servo and it's got the 540 cam now it has been ball raced as well i mean it's been built well i mean uh, the, the uh, shocks are working nicely at the back and you know at the front oh. yeah. yeah so it's all nice like it should be and it's got its two little aerial wires there help the uh, also when the car rolls over if it does so yeah and even as well i think these wheels as well have been nicely painted up as well in silver so on the whole i think that's a really cool looking thing so yeah i mean uh, as i said if i do decide that i don't keep it i'm still going to give, give it a run uh anyway i want to drive it i haven't driven a frog for ages so i want to drive one any anyway um so it'll still get uh, sort of a run out before um i do get rid of it if that's what happens so anyway it's a much better frog than that other one that you may have seen on my previous video that turned up um you know this one all is a, a running uh, running buggy so that's cool so yeah very pleased with that and i think it looks quite cool yeah really nice retro looking thing the frog that's cool and these always go quite well as well considering uh, what they are uh, but yeah okay so what should we move on to next uh, well i'll tell you what i'll just shift the frog over here a minute <laughs> okay right okie dokie so we've got here uh so i think it's a video or two about now actually i'm just thinking i don't think i've even put the video up on the channel yet i did uh, so this actually might be re released before the uh the cobra unboxing video as i say if that's the case <laughs> and uh, this video comes out the other way around i got a brand new uh early 2000 mardave cobra from a chap called uh, Lee Bishop, and he used to own Mar Dave himself. And uh, he had a few of these Cobras left, uh, new in box from, I say, the early 2000s, which I think was one of the years that they decided to re release it. And um, I had to uh, get it really because it was uh, brand, uh, brand, brand new, never been used. So I've um, started to build it up. In the other video, I said, oh, I probably won't. You know, there's no rush for doing it, and I'll just do it whenever. But yeah, I, I, that didn't happen. <laughs> I got too involved with, uh, too excited by it. And I thought I want to get it built, and it gives me something to do. So here we go. So you might notice it's sat a bit flat on the back, and that's because there's no rear shocks on it at all. Um. So I need to find some shocks for the front and rear because these Mardave ones that are on it are well to be honest they're, they're pretty pants um you know they are oil filled but they leak for fun and uh the front left one is leaking all over the place and i did build them properly as per instructions but they're, they're just not very good so i've stocked it here and i'm gonna uh, get some decent shocks for it as well um, so let's have a look. So I've just got to find some now. Now I've done the, my wife for me very kindly cut the body out and uh, and the decals and I've, I've sprayed it up. And to be honest, I didn't have any paints really, so I have just uh, done it in black. I had some black and a bit of white laying around, so I've done it sort of black. It was meant to be black going into white, but I did put a bit too much black down at the front, and um, so it's black going into grey. But it will do, and I've put some decals on there as well it, it, it will be okay for what's going to happen with it because i will use this and i might even indulge in a bit of vintage racing with it at some point i might save it for this year's lakeland classic if it goes ahead which um fingers crossed it will do uh, but yeah so that is where we're up to as you can see it's uh, pretty much built and so i just need these shocks and some radio gear for it but other than that it's all done i won't go into too much depth about it because i did the unboxing already on a different video um so hopefully next time you see it it'll be a finished 
boogie with radio gear in. But I just wanted to show you anyway. It is rather cool. And uh, I was so chuffed to get a new inbox Cobra. Uh, you're not going to get much better than that, really. So, cool. And uh, last but not least, now I've had this Blackfoot uh, for uh, about a month or so now. Um, and uh, so this is the bargain £40 Blackfoot. And um, now I got it running, which I still need to do a running video for this. I painted up Rambling Ron, the uh, driver figure. So you can see him in there. Um, ball raced it all, refilled the shocks, and uh, I've got it running. But I didn't want to do a running video until I put some decals on it. Now, when I bought this, because it came, you can see it here. There was some damage on the shell, it had a crack there, and it's uh, bent just a bit of the roof line on the side, even though it's a new body. And I thought, well, I don't want to go and start putting on, uh, you know, a new set of uh, Blackfoot decals and make it all super mint when it's got a crack in it. Anyway, I don't think it's worth doing it, personally. So, what I decided to do is, because I can always get a better body for it later, uh, I'll use this for running the truck and I just wanted some cheap decals to put on so it wasn't all plain and black. Now I came across these on eBay, um, I will put a link in if I can find what eBay store it was now, but they do various decals for various cars, they're not the same quality as MCI, but for something you're just going to throw around, I thought these were alright, uh, so I put some, uh, they did a, a Monster Energy themed Blackfoot set of decals. Uh, so that is what I decided to go with as well. Plus a light green. So yeah, that's what I've gone with. Uh, so the next time you should see this should be on a, a running video. And what I'm going to do is we're going to have a Blackfoot versus Blackfoot 3 um, showdown. So uh, that'd be quite cool because I've got a Blackfoot 3 in the garage. Um, which came to me, which again, I'll, I won't be keeping, but I thought, well, we've got it, it'd be nice to do a head-to-head -head, uh, with both Blackfoot, there, uh, Blackfoots, Blackfoots. Right, so that is where we're up to. Um, cheers for checking this video out, much appreciated as always, and if you'd like to see more of our RC content or any content on this channel, please consider subscribing. Also hitting the notification bell and clicking that like button. It's always much appreciated. Thank you very much. Look after yourselves and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.